Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am very glammed up and yes, we are gonna be filming a Get Ready With Me Glam Edition. So we are going to a wedding, so I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to film this look. Before I get into this video, just wanna say, I don't do this routine often and yes, I do love getting glammed up and I do love doing makeup, so yeah. Let's start this video. All right, let's get into our glam makeup routine. So my hair is already done. I'm gonna use these little alligator clips Oops. Make it a little puffy like this. I like to make it a little puffy just for added volume. These don't leave a dent in your hair, so this is why this is good to put your hair away from your face. Okay, so let's start with foundation. So I already have all my skincare on. I don't use a primer. I used to use a primer, but now I don't. I just set my makeup after. There are good primers out there to like blur out your pores. That's an option as well. So I already wet my beauty blender. Always make sure you damp it. So rinse it, squeeze out all the excess water, and then take a paper towel to kind of further squeeze it out. With foundation, I've been looking with every brand for a one and done foundation, meaning I don't have to mix colors to achieve the right color. With my skin tone, I am a little bit more olive, but I am golden and I do have some red undertones, but also some yellow undertones. And I don't love my foundation to be very, very, very yellow because I feel like giving me a too much of an olive complexion just makes my skin super yellow. But I don't like it very, very red and golden because then it just looks looks very uneven. So I always end up mixing my foundation. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way medium to full coverage foundation. I like to use this foundation when I want just a little bit more of a flawless finish. It's a little bit heavier, which is why I always go with a beauty blender to kind of soften it. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I will mix my color. Sometimes I'll put the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury or the Giorgio Armani. This one is the Neo Nude. I used to use the Luminous Silk Foundation. I just ran out of it. I don't know if I could justify the $62 for the foundation. I always go back and forth. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I'm just like, this is too much for a foundation. And then also I'm a little bit more oily and it is very luminous and it just makes my skin so, so oily. Oily. I don't know, I go back and forth. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of each just to achieve the perfect color. I know this is crazy, but this is what I do. So then I'm gonna put it on my skin. And I know you may think that it doesn't match, but it does. And then we're gonna use our Beauty Blender to blend. I like to press it kind of dab it in. If I use, which I probably will end up using a little bit of a brush as well to kind of give it a more fuller coverage, I use the Morphe M439 Kabuki brush. I like a Kabuki brush just because I feel like you could just dab it and then press it into your skin. Always make sure to take it down to your neck. Okay, then I'll go back with my beauty blender and just kind of press it in. I feel like the beauty blender always kind of thins out the foundation, so it just gives it a more natural coverage. Once again, I am not a makeup artist. This is just what works for me and tips and tricks that I've learned from watching actual real makeup YouTubers and makeup artists. Okay. Foundation is done. Next, we are going to do our concealer. I know a lot of people start with the eyes. I start with my foundation. I don't wear a ton of eye shadow. I kind of put like a little bit just to brighten the area. So my next is my concealer, which are the same concealers that I always use. I've tried tons of others, but I just always go back to these. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I use two colors, medium one and medium two. One is custard and one is ginger. Medium one is custard. Mustard. I like a lighter one just because I like that it brightens the under eye area and then the darker one kind of it matches a little bit more to my skin tone just to kind of conceal the darker circles. Now you just blend with your beauty blender. I also love using a beauty blender just because, especially for the concealer, because I feel like this is how you could really just get into the corners of your eyes, especially since this is kind of like an X shaped. And like I said, I always go on the top of my eyes. 
Okay, now I'm going to set my under eye. And when I'm going out, I always set my under eye just because it prevents it from creasing. And honestly, for me, no matter what concealer I use, it always creases on me. So if you know of a concealer that doesn't crease, just let me know in the comments below. And this, I'm gonna set it with the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in the shade two, medium. I used to use the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder, but I just kind of like this one better. And I kind of just dab it, put it on my beauty blender. Also, Courtney Shields, the influencer, she loves using this too set her makeup as well. Okay, now that that's set, we're gonna go on to our face for some contouring. I used to never contour and now I do. I use two different ones. So since it's summertime, I like a little bit more of a glowier look. So I'll use the Hollywood Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. Otherwise, I'll use the Rihanna Contour 6 and that's more of a matte finish. So if you want more of a matte look, that's great for that. Otherwise, if you want more of a luminous look, this one I highly recommend. And it's a twist, so I really don't rarely twist it because there's so much excess on the brush. And what I'll do is I will kind of outline my cheekbones like this. I actually have to press a little bit on it. And the same on this side. And you're probably gonna be like, oh my God, that's so much, but You'll see what I do. Then I take this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I kind of outline like this. And you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, she looks crazy, but watch. Then I'll take this one and brush into my hairline. And then I'll do it in my jawline and I pull it down. So I always, when I'm on my forehead, I brush into my hairline, so away from my face. And also for my jaw, I put away. Okay, and then I go back to this one and I'll kind of go a little more up because you kind of don't want to go down because that's just going to look a little crazy. Okay. So now we have a contour going on. Then I'll take my beauty blender and I'll kind of just blend it in since it has a little bit of your foundation already. Next, I go in with my bronzer, which is my NARS Laguna bronzer, and I use the Real Techniques powder brush, and this is what I just love to kind of go over the liquid. So, like this. I'll get up here. Down on the jawline. You will notice that I don't go darker with my foundation color just because I like to bronze and kind of contour. So I like to see the different contouring and the different coloring as well. So now that we did that, I don't know. Sometimes I'll just do this just to pat it on even more. How is it looking? Contour chiseled. Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm going to go with a little bit of both the Torrid and the Orgasm by NARS. I like to just mix a little bit. So I'll kind of go like this to put it on the apples of the cheeks. Good. And then highlights. I have a couple of different highlighters. I have a Laura Mercier one. I have the Smashbox one, which is the gold palette. And these are the colors. So I'll kind of just mix the bronzier one and this one, and I'll just kind of go where you want it to kind of glow, which is right along here. So where you want the light to hit. I'll kind of bring it down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, like this. So then with my face, and after I finish my face, I always set my makeup. I set it with the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's my absolute favorite setting spray. I think I've also been using this since I've started wearing makeup. So I'll just a few spritzes, maybe too many. Next, let's do our eyebrows. Uh, so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Medium Brown. And this is the Brow Definer. So they have the pencil and the Brow Definer. Like I said before, this is the slanted one. It's easier to fill in my brow for me. All right, eyebrows are on. Kind of just fluff them up like this. Next, I set my brows. So I usually use the Benefit Brow Gel, but once again, I am still using the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. And good. 
brows are set. All right, now let's go into our eyeshadow. So I've been loving two different palettes. I'm actually not a big eyeshadow person, so I have a couple of palettes and kind of go from there. Charlotte Tilbury has beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. So this is one that I will be using. This is the Bella Sophia. And then I love the Morphe palettes. They're so reasonably priced. And this one, actually, I don't know. This is more like neutrally warm tones and they have both shimmer and matte. I kind of like to mix both shimmer and matte colors. So what I'll do is for my crease, I'll always choose a matte color. So I'm going to go with this MAC fluffy brush. I don't even know what number it is. It's a race. You see it's a fluffy brush like this. And go in with a color that's pretty much matches your skin tone. So I'm going to mix a few. I'm going to go a little bit with this one and this one and this one. And put it in the crease. I do not know how to do eyeshadow. This is really just what I do. I've always watched tons of videos and yeah. So now that we have that, we have our eyeshadow crease. I'm gonna go in with, be right back, I forgot my other brush. This is the Sephora Professional brush. I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna do more of like a brownie neutral. So I'm gonna combine two. I'm gonna go in with this color but also take a little bit of these two. And this is what I'm gonna use at the end of my lid. So like this, just at the end I put it on the same thing here. I kind of put it at the end to like the middle of my eye. So like right here, I put that color. Why not add some sparkle? I'm gonna go in with my finger and kind of tap that color in. This one, the sparkly one, the sparkly copper one. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this MAC 213 SE brush like this. It's like a flat brush that I do for my inner portion of my lid. I usually do like a lighter color, so I'm going in with this one and this one, but I like to put a little bit of a matte into it. I'm gonna add a little bit of a gold to it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this one. Another trick that I learned is if you put a really light color like this one into your inner corners of your eye, it really makes your eyes pop. So that's what I'm gonna do. Go in with this color in the inner corners and okay. So now that's my eyeshadow. I usually always stick to these same colors. I don't know why. That's that. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe M321 brush and I go in with a dark matte color to kind of undo my eyeliner underneath my eye. So I'm gonna go in with like this one right here, blow it some excess off and really just kind of outline the lower lash line. I don't wear eyeliner in my waterline. I used to. And whenever Michael sees pictures of me, he says I look like a cat. So now I never wear it. So same thing. Lining the lower lash line with an eyeshadow. Lining your lower lash line with a darker color, like to give it more of that smoky look, just really takes your eye makeup to the next level. I like getting glammed up. It's fun. Okay. So see, now I have some dimension to my lower lash line, my upper, and it kind of just makes your look a lot more elevated. What I forgot to do with my highlighter is I usually take the lightest color and put a little bit on my finger and I'll always kind of outline my eyebrows. All right, now is my eyeliner. So it's just gonna be the same winged liner that I do my everyday makeup routine. I go between the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner or the Kat Von D. I'm gonna do that in the mirror. You can usually stop after eyeshadow, but for a wedding or something like that, I like to always add some liner. All right, liner is on. Next, let's do our mascara, and then we are pretty much done. I always wear mascara. I've tried fake lashes. I just can't put them on. I don't know. I go back and forth with fake lashes. I have them, but it just takes forever for me to do them. So you already know my mascara routine, so we'll kind of skip through this. Primer, keep it on. Prime your lashes, keep that on for like 
a few seconds, then curl them. If you prime your lashes, I feel like it just kind of conditions them, but also like makes your mascara, I don't know, makes your lashes look a little bit more full. First, L'Oreal Telescopic. Okay, next, IT Cosmetics Superhero. Maybe I'll do a look on wearing actual falsies. Okay, before I line my lower lash line, I'll take that concealer brush by Real Techniques and if any excess like eyeshadow fill, I kind of just like use this to like swoop it off my face. This is why they say to do your eyeshadow before. I'll put mascara on my lower lash line. And that's it. So face, eyes, everything's done. How is everything looking? I think it looks really nice, personally. After this, I am just going to now decide on a lipstick. Be right back. Keep all my lipsticks and lip liners in here. I'm gonna go in with a nude lip. Let's see. Probably go in with this combo. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and Lip Cheat. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Okay, so let's do it. So I'm gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna put my Jacked Lip Plumper. I love this. It's a gloss, but it also plumps the lip. That's the color. And then I'll put a tad bit of the gloss and that's it. Okay, that is our glam makeup routine. This is my hair. I'm gonna just spray my hair. Okay, I'm gonna go finish getting myself ready. Go put on my dress, my accessories, and that's pretty much it. So this is my we have to go. Okay, I guess we have to go. Um, so this is the Get Ready With Me Glam Edition. If you like this or you'd like to see more videos like this, comment below. Otherwise, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and follow me on Instagram, and then we'll see you all on my next channel. Bye. Your next channel, you always say Oh, otherwise we'll see you all on my next video. Bye.